How can we use Euler's identity to prove that pi equals one? Let me show you. The first thing I'm gonna do is subtract one from both sides. So I get e to the i pi equals negative one. Then the inverse of e is ln. I'm gonna ln both sides. These cancel, I get i pi equals ln of negative one. The next thing I'm gonna do is raise both sides to the power of one. So I get one to the power of i pi equals one to the power of ln of minus one. Then using our index laws, I'm just gonna rewrite these the other way around and write one to the power of pi within the bracket. Nothing else has changed. But one to the power of anything is just one. So I'm left with one to the power of i is one to the power of ln of minus one. Then I'm gonna get rid of these base ones by doing log base one of both sides. After doing this, these all cancel and I'm left with i equals ln of minus one. But if we go back up here, ln of minus one is i pi. So I get i is i pi, dividing both sides by i. I get one equals pi. <laughs> Where did I go wrong? Nice.